Hello everyone, welcome back. We have just completed our quest here, and it seems like during the course of actions, Jahira has gained a level. So we're going to take care of that very quickly, and looking at her health points, she's going to go from a meager 12 all the way up to 19, so she gains 7 hit points in this level. And this will depend based on your constitution score, and we're ready to move on. Heading out of the spider-infested, no longer, house. We're going to make our way back to the center of town and see if there's anything there of interest. And the ultimate goal here is to head south to the city of Nashville. But before we do that, we're going to see if there are any other party members or quests that need to be done on our way there. Yes, this is the City of Barragost, an impressive monument in the town square. And who is this we have here? Garrick. Right, we're going to speak to Garrick. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. He has a proposal for us. He has heard of us, an excellent group of warriors, and he offers us a well-paying job as bodyguards for his mistress. We are always on the lookout for money. Tell us more. He is Garrick, and he works for Silky Rosina the most skilled musician and actor along the Sword Coast. It seems some thugs have been hired by Feldepost to hurt her badly, because she did not perform at his inn when she was supposed to. She's willing to pay 300 gold, and that sounds quite fair. Why don't you show us to this mistress of yours? We are to meet him outside of the Red Sheaf Inn. It seems he's going to escort us there now. Meeting in a dark alleyway. There's nothing suspicious about this at all. So we have Lady Silky. Greetings, we'll speak mercenaries. To her. I am Silky. That's been extraordinary. He has offered us 300. She's going to raise our wage to 400 without prompting. There's your charisma score for you. We are to dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten her. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but they must strike quickly. For one of them is a mage whose mystic words can sway even the most wise of men. Here they come now. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Elfist Silky. Thugs. That's been extraordinary. Hmm. There's something amiss here. It doesn't add up. Strike now, kill them all. Must stop this madness. We will not murder those who are obviously innocent men. Our deal is off. And she aims to deal with us herself. And then them. So it's a fight. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Oh, I, I deal with her and have the others. I've interrupted her spellcasting, that she did well. And she is no more. So he is dead. Let's speak to the first. Of the three faultless. Oh, got the best prices this side of Cormier. They've given us a token of their appreciation. A potion of defense. Thank you very much. Let's see what she had. There's 400 gold, so she did at least intend to pay us. A potion of invulnerability. That could come in handy. And an unidentified quarterstaff. Hmm, Miss Garrick has some explaining yes, to do. Sir. He is asked to accompany us. While we do have an open space in our party, I question the judgment and character of this Garrick. If he was unable to see the wrongness of his mistress, then perhaps he is not the right fit here. And we do not need anyone else right now. Away with you. So here we have our quarter staff. We're going to hand that off to Emmeline and see if she's able to tell what it is. She cannot. So we're going to hang on to that and wait until we bring it to a shopkeep and they might be able to. So we've completed our quests for the Friendly Arm Inn. One in which we are to bring back the ogre's belts and the other 
to clear out the spider infested home here. So we're going to actually return to the Friendly Arm Inn and collect our reward for that. Let's see if there's anything of interest along the way. We have a home here. Let's take a quick quick peek inside. Commoner. If there's anything in this room, it seems like no. We're going to excuse ourselves. more. Let's see. Hmm. Another home here. Let's take a quick look. We have a lady. Miriam. Let's see if she has any troubles. It seems she does. Her husband had to make sudden business in Am, and she's worried for him. And the highways just aren't as safe as they once were. There hasn't been a messenger in months. We must keep our eyes open along the southern roads and let us let her know if we find anything. And that we shall do. But before heading south, we shall forage to the north once more. And we've even uncovered a temple here. But first, to the friendly arm inn. Daybreak, we'll make our way back here. And again, this is to return the belt and the spider belongings, the inn and the, the boots that we found there. Collect our reward. My honor is my life. Of course, it is. It's been close to a day since last we were here. Guards patrolling the walls as they should be, keeping the peace. Rest assured, we shall not give them any trouble. You must gather your party before venturing forth. And we are back. Yes. I believe Unshe was on the second floor. She very badly wishes to have her belts back. So we shall bring them there. It's a damn weird ogre. Don't you think? Here's 95 gold for our trouble and a new history book that she's just completed. That would be the history of Tether. We shall peruse its pages at another time. Landrin on the third floor still seeks our attention. We must be very careful slipping past this nobleman here and hoping he does not catch sight of us. Wondering where his golden pantaloons are. Bentley is a kindly man, but it is always best not to push favors too far. 120 gold for our trouble, taking the boots from us. If we have any other of her belongings, talk to her again. The largest of the pesky spiders. That's one more down, another hundred gold, and lastly, seventy-five for the wine. Not bad for an honest day's work. Now let's go and speak to Bentley. I remember there was something in his uh, collection that we would very much like to purchase. And now that we have sufficient funds, we just might do that. A quick save. Speaking to Bentley. through here. We have some weapons. And here we have plate mail armor. There was a time when we could not afford that, but now that we can, I shall make it ours. And we're going to see a dramatic reduction in our armor class here, going from a positive two to negative two. So a difference of four. Rather than adding two to our attacker's roll, we are going to subtract two and they require a sufficiently high number in order to strike us. So we have made it that much more difficult for them. Plate mail you must gather your is party easily forth. worth its weight. You must gather your... 
we're going to head out once more, perhaps for the last time, and continue on our way to Nashkel. Where to now? Clad in my new armor. Making it quite difficult for any common swordsman to strike me. Gorion would be proud of your actions. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. I'm not just make way. <clears throat> I'm going to pause the video here very quickly, and I shall be back in a short while. Thanks for watching.